to the second block of this session, maybe we have more social competencies. And the, the following category is better clinic occupational activity hospital classrooms and we will I've been working in hospitals. 
grassroots since um, 2000, 2008, I think so. Yes, more than 10 years. Work this context had. And it's a really, I don't know how to say, it, but it's, it's really, for me, it's very, very uh, important because uh, you have a, a lot of uh, special situations with families, with uh, children, with adolescents, um, and with teachers. Um, it's not only you know to design the curriculum that they need to to develop in the in the school. You need to develop other strategies and work with the emotions uh, and with, with the emotional state uh, because. The, their emotions impact directly in their health. And it's not only about the knowledge that you, you need to bring to uh, inside the, this kind of uh, special hospital classrooms. And in, in Spain, we have a lack, we are lucky because in, in every public hospital, we have uh, this, is, this kind of a special classrooms inside the hospital. But it's not a real, the reality, the reality of other countries. It's not the norm. But they are in development. For example, in Argentina, it's a very well state a country that they are regulations and norms and laws about this uh, kind of uh, hospital classrooms. But it's not a, it's a fact in, in other uh, countries, but they are trying to introduce uh, this uh, new literacy. In 2017, I've been in Boston working uh, with Marina Bears, and we, I had a, we had an experience in the Boston Children's Hospital uh, bringing uh, a robotic kit uh, named Kivo, um, you, you, you can try, we, we, we can teach and learn uh, computational thinking and programming without uh, screens. We have co uh, wooden blocks and uh, a robot. And I thought, why I cannot bring this kind of experience and develop a special uh, proposal to work in, in, in a Spanish uh, hospital classroom? And I started to work in Canary Islands and preparing the teachers to, to this kind of uh, new literacy too, not only bringing my experience or our experience from academy to the hospital classroom, we need to prepare the teachers to develop in, uh, this kind of uh, activities in their classrooms. Uh, but robotics are, nowadays are using many kind of uh, hospitals, social robotics, special social robotics like social robot uh, companions and working with emotions and, um, there are, I, I, I've, um, I, I, I have done a, a, a literature review about the uh, robotics in hospital cancer and we have a very positive uh, result of their use in this kind of context. But our approach is not use social robotics, it's use educational robotic kids to uh, to create a proposal to teach and learn computational thinking and coding without the screens. For example, in, in several hospitals in Spain, there are another uh, experiences use uh, robotics too, but our case of study is, is different in this, uh, in this uh, goal because we try to develop a framework or a proposal to 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 digital and this kind. Well our piece of the study uh, was formed with the children that attend normally to the hospital classroom during uh, mental exam in, uh, last year and uh, 
uh, they we study not only computational thinking learning, but also their emotional state before and after pass uh, to our session. And we define several methodology, method, methodology, methodology <coughs> sorry, uh, strategies, educational strategies to work with uh, um, with them. And this is Lorena, uh, my colleague. And we use Kibo and we try to um, develop different learning goals that apply uh, in general processes in the construction of things, for example, robots uh, that learn different components of the robots and how they work and learn programming instructions and acquire the computational thinking. And we create also different activities to work emotions, uh, with emotions. And for example, this is one, and you can see in, we, we work also with uh, creativity. Uh, we can see in the, in the draw of children how they felt before they came to the activity. And it's really, really well, for us, it's uh, really important to work with emotion, too. Um, you can see also that Kibo has a creative platform to create different scratch and uh, not only uh, to to program. We use different we use different strong instruments to evaluate the computational thinking based on the work of birth uh, with six uh, competences. Uh, we use a journal session mainly based on observations and it's a qualitative uh, uh, method to, uh, to collect information. And Memoriana, uh, that is an, an instrument, that, instrument that we developed to evaluate emotions with children. Um, well, the results are very, very positive. Uh, we found that the most difficult uh, problems is to achieve is the value there. The, the, the problem solving and dividing the, the the code and another positive outcomes that we found that is an emotional state before and after work with our method and you can see the, in, in this in this graph that we they are ended to the session, the, the session, the negative uh, emotions are high, highest, and uh, compared with the when they in the in the post session, uh, they have a uh, most positive emotion. Well, uh, <laughs> the first uh, card that I have <laughs> uh, as uh, well. We, we found different uh, results uh, around uh, our intervention. Um, the qualitative records uh, indicate that they carry that they can uh, is is perfectly um, work with computational thinking and programming without extreme in this uh, special context. Um, as, uh, as conclusions, I can say that, uh, as I, I mentioned before, that uh, the six competence can be work perfectly in this uh, in this uh, context with, with children. Um, we we try to use uh, an educational robotic kit that allow us to work without the screens but not uh, we try to reduce the, the exposure to ex, ex screens uh, of mirrors and trying to work with them in the unplugged way with robots but in unplugged way and we use uh, also different strategies uh, 
uh, like uh, individual work, cooperative work, uh, learning by the scholar, and play and creativity and problem based uh, learning. And we meet in each session to to in 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 in, in each session in each moment to try to adapt our uh, planifications to the the special characteristics that we are facing in that moment. And positive emotions emerge of, of this kind of work. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Any questions? of the teachers. 
Do you have a um, pre-evaluation and post-evaluation for the teachers? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't, but you, you mentioned something that I would like to work with. Because um, uh, I say that uh, before that I've been involved in, uh, with teachers uh, in hospital classrooms since, since ten, 10 years ago. Um, and well, they face for two extremely difficult situations with children. And some teachers can not afford that. It's, it's impossible. They some um, you know um, with that with without the you know yeah, yeah. the their work because they can afford that kind of situation. I, I saw a lot of uh, you know, sadness uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. with this kind of teacher. And you, you need to work with, um, to prepare teachers to mm -hmm. face this kind of situation. For that, we develop a course. Uh, and we have a MOOC in the other to work with ICT in hospital class mm -hmm. and trying to, you know, to, to um, create some uh, special uh, course for them. And we have another course with uh, Veronica Violan from the University of Barcelona. And we are working in some different courses to prepare teachers. But we don't evaluate this. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Um, I would like to say that I'm very interested in the tools, the educational tools um, that are used to, to teach the computer health. And my, and my question is why keyboard? Ah, there is a lot of, to my knowledge, there is a lot of other unplugged tools. Why keyboard? Well, Kimo is really because uh, they, uh, this tool is uh, a really validated tool and Kimo was developed, designed and developed by uh, Marina Bers and working with her in Boston and I, I have a very knowledge about this kind of uh, uh, robotic kit. It's, the fact that there are a lot of uh, educational outlet roles, uh, but I know very well this, this uh, kind of uh, educational kit. And we need some kit that allow us to work with different ages from 0 to 16 years old and to, to, to allow us to work with creativity too. And you know that you, in Kiva you can uh, you can different uh, you, you can develop different kind of uh, yes, creativity activities around around uh, Kiva, and we have a framework before framework to evaluate positive development of technology based on Kiva. It's uh, the framework of uh, Marina Bert, and we have a lot of design of activities and educational activities. And we adapt this kind of um, framework to this special context. And we have uh, this background, it's not just, just as a robotic educa educational robotic kit. It's a robotic kit with a lot of uh, you mm -hmm. know, instruments and uh, educational activities and other different things around this kit. And we try to adapt everything to introduce this in this special context. We work also with Kibo in 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 childhood uh, education in normal uh, classrooms, traditional classrooms, too. Uh, but after that, we after we prove we test this. Uh, activities we bring to this special mm -hmm. context. So the, the platform of uh, system. Mm -hmm. 
of evaluation or things, isn't it? Yeah. Validated. Do you have problems with the eight of the children? You say four in the system. It's not the same context. It's the same system. Yes, there are some sometimes we need to adapt. For example, not only for the eight. Uh, also for the situation, for example, with mm, children with the fear or, you know, in um, child or, yeah, like, uh, or abuse or other kind of uh, problems that they have in the moment. And this is the, the problem to work with <laughs> uh, children with illness in hospital. We, we need to uh, think and about in the moment, at the moment. Uh, <coughs> for example, uh, sometimes we, if uh, the children can't uh, move around yeah, and we think in some dance with Kibo, for example, activity, uh, we need to adapt everything to, to this uh, situation. Okay, thank you, Karina, so much for the work. Yeah.